All right, well, here's a piece I wrote called Human Batteries. I'll just read it. All we are are human batteries, resources for the powers that control. We work for them, they tell us what to buy, and we buy it. They offer up luxury as the ultimate goal. But if you've ever experienced hollow luxury, you know how empty that is. Physical beauty is the ultimate goal, but that is unattainable as well. Some appear physically perfect, but again, the empty beauty exists. Beautiful women are offered up as idols, prizes, possessions, and goals, but it's mostly just cheese in a rat trap. You give, commit, spend, pursue the perfect woman your whole life. And who is she? Someone you've seen on TV or in the movies. Someone fabricated, almost robotic. In fact, the future is in artificial intelligence. Artificially created humans are not far away. Sex objects will turn almost instantly into slave objects. They have these weird little kid things here, and I know other people have seen them. It's fucking creepy. It's like artificial intelligence kid that you like own or whatever, and the kid's like a robot, and it's like it's not alive, but it's alive, and I've seen people, and other people in the community are sickened by it. And the cops come and fuck those guys up, dude. And like, I seen a black dude. Like, a black dude with a black chick have, like, a couple of them little babies. And other black dudes fucked that guy up on the beach for having whatever he had. They fucking pop. I walked away because I saw, I felt it going down. And they rolled that guy, dude. Whatever. That was in, in their own fucking family culture. That, that was fucked up, dude. So these, uh, these uh, artificial intelligent robot people will be in a class of their own, part human, part robotic. They will choose adding artificiality to attain unnatural perfection in order to be like an idol, like a god, like the Oscar idol, uh, which is the symbol for Lucifer, a shirtless male with a perfect body, no genitals, uh, no face. That's like Lucifer. He's like light blue, uh, the color of moonlight. Like silver, silver blue moonlight. That's Lucifer. Satan is red. And uh, no, he's actually hot pink. Satan's hot pink, dude. Like red is like a different color than Satan. Satan is literally hot pink and like faded pink. It's the gayest thing ever. It's so funny because they try to be all hard. Like we're Satan. We're dressed like Satan. Like you're dressed in fucking, like you're dressing in mauve color. <laughs> so anyways, this is idolatry. The major sin in the Bible, okay? You don't worship things. I don't worship this lamp, okay? I don't worship this phone. I don't worship myself. I don't worship this flag. I don't worship my fucking braces. I don't worship these scissors, okay? I worship God, the, the, the power behind, the, the, the power is the creator behind everything, okay? That way you don't have to possess anything. I, I possess some clothes, some shoes, some shit, like some, but I really don't have much more. Than, I don't need more than I have. You know, uh, I'd like to get a bigger place. I'd like to be left alone. I'd like to have a wife. I'd like to like be able to chill at the beach and just watch these kids go surfing all day. You know, but like I don't need much more than that because I have a I have an elevated state of mind where I'm I'm in heaven. Like I live in heaven. I mean, I I mean I'm in a heavenly state where I live. So I'm like chill with whatever happens. Like and all kinds of fucked up shit happens to me, but I'm always chill. Like what else, dude? Like I'm like the dude. Uh, I'm like the dude Lebowski of ministry, basically. And uh, I'm going to take a break from this and talk about something I talked to this really cool girl, Cassidy, about uh, last night. Uh, she mentioned balance. She's a med student, and uh, we talked about balance, and we are talking about finding balance in our lives. And I, I think I've always taken religion in, with a balance of spirituality. It's it's a very zen thing. It's like it's like how surfing can be hardcore, gnarly, and the most serene thing you can ever do at the same time. That's balance, and that that's it takes balance in many different ways to surf. You have to have balance over uh, you know on slippery rocks. You have to be balanced over uh, on your surfboard. You have to balance in which waves you choose, of where in the wave you choose to take off, where you hit the lip, where you choose to get barreled, things like that. That takes balance. And I think the spiritual walk, like me as a disciple, takes it takes balance. I'm very, very, I wouldn't say Buddhist, 
because I don't worship Buddha or have Zens or whatever, but like I'm very Zen and like very like just let go type of thing where I just like, as I get down my spiritual path, there's less of me and more of God like inside me because there's less, I'm just, le there's just less of me here and there's more of God that comes in. And, but what happens, typical of God, you get more of you too, okay? That's how God works. Is like, you say, hey, I'm gonna make a sacrifice to have less of me and more than God. And God goes, okay, well, you get more of me and you get more of you too. Because God gives and then he gives. He, he, he gives me so many things, like powerful things, powerful gifts, insight, weapons, psychological weapons. Like, you know, he gives me the right to fly this flag, okay? And this flag, okay? And, and, and to be a Native American and to be a skinhead and, and to be a surfer guy and to be a beach guy, you know, it's like, he gives me the freedom to do these things. And these are major, major blessings. This thing just cut out again. This thing cut out again, so I'm sure it's getting off track. But let me talk, I'll talk more about balance as my third segment. 